Hello everyone, how are we doing? NBZ back here with some more black and white 2 footage for you, uh, along with some questions from good old Facebook. If you want to ask more questions, then head on over to my Facebook page, that's usually where I'll be taking them from. I uh, didn't really get any uh, in the YouTube video because I guess people were just going crazy about asking for things, which uh, is illegal for me to do. So, anyway, if you do want to ask me questions, go to the Facebook page, uh, that's where all the things will be put. Uh, so we have a first question here from Lauren Tykeson, who asks, New character designs, yay or nay? I think in general, the new character designs uh, are okay. Uh, I'm not very pleased with the male one, if I'm perfectly honest. I think his hair looks kind of stupid. Um, he's a bit lanky as well. Uh, I, I mean, the sprite is okay. The sprite is fine. I have no problem with the sprite. It's just the character artwork for the male design seems a bit stupid in my book. So I'm not a big fan of it, to be perfectly honest with you. But hey, each their own, I guess. Uh, you know, the female one's good. I like the female one. I think that it looks okay. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. And, um, you know, I, uh, it's fine. Nothing wrong. I have no issues with the character designs, apart from the male one kind of looks stupid a bit. Um, I, I like, though, that they did distinguish it from black and white, because if you had the same character designs, it wouldn't have felt like a sequel. It would have obviously felt more like a grey sort of thing. So, it's good, and I'm, I'm happy with it, I guess. Um, let's see what else we got here. We have a question from Angus R. Hines, who asks, Do you think Thunderous will be more dangerous in its new form despite the speed drop? Now, if you don't know, uh, some stats have been released for Thunderous, Tornadus, and Landorus uh, about their Sacred Beast form, which is their alternative form. So the one where Landorus looks like a tiger, Thunderous looks like some kind of flying snake, and Tornadus has wings for some crazy reason. But uh, essentially, the stats have come out, and what we see is that... Uh, Thunderous has changed uh, quite significantly in terms of its offensive stats. Its defensive stats have stayed the same, but uh, it's dropped 10 attack, so it's gone down from 115 attack down to 105. Not a big deal because no one really used uh, physically offensive Thunderous anyway. Its special attack has gone down from, uh, I mean, sorry, its special attack has gone up quite significantly from 125 up to 145 which is pretty criminally outrageous at this point. I feel that uh, Game Freak are just wanting to buff the offensive stats of everything at this point. Um, but there you go, 145. And then its speed has dropped uh, from 111 to 101. Now, I'm guessing he's asking like how much of an effect this will have on the metagame, obviously, and uh, what it's going to change. In terms of Thunderous, Thunderous obviously is a Pokemon that has gone uber, and um, I'm not sure that with these changes it will go down anytime soon. The main problem is that its special attack is still sky high, and uh, it still has the same move pool as it always has done, and it's probably going to get some nice stuff in the move tutors anyway to help it out. The speed, I don't feel, is as much of an issue, um, and the reason being is that 101 is still a very solid speed tearing. You know, 111 is high and it's very nice, but 101 is good. I mean, I don't feel that 101 has anything wrong with it, and you still outspeed all base 100, so that's, you know, it's a good thing. Base 100 is uh, a major thing in the OU metagame anyway, so it's fine. And even in Uber's metagame, 101 is just... there's no problem with it whatsoever, so... I don't feel that Thunderous is gonna uh, be affected that greatly. What I do think, though, is Landorus is probably going to be affected a little bit more than this. And the reason being is that Landorus was originally, I believe, 100 and, um, 101 speed. Uh, but instead of it being 101 speed, it's now dropped. And it's dropped from 101 to 91. Uh, even though its attack has gone up to 145, like uh, Thunderous' special attack went up to 145, it now has a speed drop of 10. But this 10 is much more significant, I feel, than the 10 which happened with uh, the other thing, with Thunderous. Uh, because 91 isn't that great. Even if you give it a Scarf, it's still going to be outsped by the majority of Scarfers because there are lots of things that run Scarf that are around that speed tier or above. And, um, you know, it just doesn't hit the same kind of magic number that 101 was. So, Landorus, I feel, though it's going to be very potent offensively, I think it will still stay OU and the reason, obviously, because its speed has dropped so significantly. Um, so, I think that that's going to probably be the major difference. You see, I don't know what the hell is going to go on with Tornadus, because at the moment it looks like an absolute mishmash of different stat changes that make no sense. Its speed is ridiculous at 121, but it doesn't have incredible attack stats to to go along with it. It's got 100 attack and 110 special attack, and its defenses basically went up a little bit. So it got 10 in defense extra and 10 extra in special defense. Not a big deal, really. Its HP stat is still the same, so people thinking that there was going to be a walling 
a tornado set, probably not going to happen. Uh, so there you go. I guess that those uh, are my thoughts on the genies. Most likely, not many changes are going to be made apart from they're going to be really, really powerful, I guess. So let's move on. Uh, I have a, another question here from uh, Rajdeep Dinsda. I think I pronounced that correctly. I should be able to because I'm a freaking Indian guy. Um, Dinsda, probably like that. Um, and he asks, I heard Chuckle got Shell Smash. How would you make a contrary set? This excites me. This excites me a lot. Uh, you know, Shuckle has Contrary as its Dreamworld ability, and um, it, Contrary is an ability that doesn't get given to many good pokes, really. Superior has it, and Superior is really the only thing that can abuse Contrary because of Leaf Storm. Shuckle really didn't have anything in his move pool which could abuse Contrary, and, you know, with Shell Smash, obviously it's going to be dropping the stats that it doesn't care about, because what Shell Smash does is it obviously sharply raises your attack and special attack, and uh, raises your speed by one stage. Well, actually, it raises your speed by two stages, it sharply raises all of them, but what it does also is it lowers your defense and special defense. So, what this essentially is, is a way for Shuckle to buff its defense and special defense, because obviously the opposite will apply it will lose the attack speed and special attack uh, boosts and it will gain the defense and special defense boosts instead which is pretty fantastic um i mean it would be nice to run that i guess alongside rest and alongside maybe toxic you could run a toxic stall in defensive variant um you know lots of possibilities for shuckle there with contrary and i'm pretty excited about that definitely going to be using that when that uh when that comes to release i guess and um i i'll think it'll be pretty exciting we'll we'll see how nubs version 3 pans out we'll see how that goes um let's have a look here what else have we got here's an interesting one uh, nick bratcher he asks is if is physical sheer force nido king now an option with the elemental punches and poison jab as we, I've said previously, and I talked to Fizz about this on the sort of mini discussion video we did, Elemental Punches are part of the Move Tutor, and we currently don't know which Pokemon are going to be getting the Move Tutor moves, so it's a little bit up in the air currently, but uh, it is very likely that Nido King will get uh, accessibility to these things. Fantastic thing about those moves is, of course, they all have secondary effects, and Nido King obviously just raging rampant with especially offensive moves uh, already with uh, Life Orb and Sheer Force. I think this is going to be very significant. I believe Nido King has higher attack than special attack anyway, so it would work out better for it, uh, which means that you get boosted triple elemental punches and boosted poison jab, because I believe poison jab has the chance to poison as well, so that will get removed and it will obviously get boosted by the Life Orb Sheer Force stuff going down. So that's exciting, and I just noticed that that piece of grass is in the shape of a dick. Um, I'll move on. Uh, anyway, yes, um, Nido King will be great, fantastic in fact, and I am hoping that it does get all the elemental punches, because that would really help it out. Next question comes from Nick Ward. He asks, what are your thoughts about some Pokemon's Dream World ability available in Wild, like the uh, Among Us and Minchino, and will they go up in the metagame because of them having Dream World abilities? This is very interesting because obviously there are lots of 5th gen Pokemon whose Dream World abilities have not been released yet. Among Us and Minchino being among the primary ones with really good uh, Dream World abilities that haven't come out yet. Among Us gets Regenerator and Minchino gets Skill Link. Uh, both of these very good abilities and um, I would definitely think that they would uh, change their state in the metagame. Among Us would definitely be bumped up from what is it, RU or NU? I think it might even be NU at this current point, which is a crying shame because Among Us is a great Pokemon. I've used it quite a few times and I, I really like it. Uh, that, that thing's definitely going to move up with Regenerator. It's an amazing ability, one of the best that 5th Gen gave us, so I'm sure that that will go up. I mean, Sheena, I'm a little bit unsure about because it is still great. Um, I, I think Skill Link is good for it, definitely. You know, we'll, we'll see about that one. I think it's probably resting around the same area in NU. So it could get a buff there. We'll like to see. But I think the most interesting thing is that these guys are available in-game. So they're part of the black and white actual in-game. As opposed to you having to go to the Dream World online and download them from there. And do all that shenanigans. You can just get them straight from the actual cartridge. Which is fantastic. I mean, uh, as long as they're doing that, maybe they should throw in some other ones as well that we necessarily need. Breloom with uh, Technician, for example. That would be nice. Uh, we'd like to see that in the metagame sometime soon. The final question comes from Yago Dalmaschio. Uh, he says, What's your opinion on Weezing for OU? With Conkella possibly getting Ice Punch to smash Gliscor, we're going to need a new Surefire counter. Weezing fits the bill, taking not only uh, not very effective hits from Conkella's stab and neutral damage from his other attacks, Conkella won't be able to bulk up spam because of Clear Smog, and then Weezing can proceed to do what he wants. 
Uh, yes, I agree. I think that Weezing is a fantastic counter to Conkelda, but it's not just the fact that Black and White 2 is rolling around that he's going to be uh, so useful. He's always been useful against Conkelda. It's just not many people have uh, really used him because Gliscor was always there and Gliscor was always kind of able to deal with Conkelda on its own. Now that Gliscor is obviously threatened by Ice Punch, uh, you know, assuming that Conkelda gets Ice Punch, we currently don't know whether Conkelda will get it in the move tutors. It seems likely, but it's not a surefire thing. But, assuming that it does, and Gliscor is no longer a problem for Conkella to deal with, then Weezing will definitely, I guess, be much more useful. I'm not sure that it will rise significantly, just because it has a lot of other problems with it. It has weaknesses to sort of common stuff, I guess. Psychic is annoying, and, you know, special defense isn't very good. So, that's a little bit of a problem. But, other than that, I don't really see... Uh, why you shouldn't use it. I definitely agree with you on that point that Weezing is a, a definite thing to take Conkelda down with. And um, if you're struggling with Conkelda, bring a Weezing. It'll, it'll help you immensely. Uh, I think that's it. That's going to be it for uh, this video. So uh, I'll record some more footage. Uh, you know, I've, I actually figured out how to catch a Pokemon in this episode because I apparently had 12 Pokeballs sitting around and because I didn't read the Japanese, I have no idea what's going on. But I got a Mareep and uh, we'll have some more guys uh, on our adventure pretty soon. So uh, I'll see you guys probably tomorrow and uh, with some more uh, questions, more updates, etc, etc. I'll see you guys then.